If you look 10 years back, in order to get a software product from, from the market, you as a customer, you would uh, have to go to the store, you would have to buy a CD, and you would have to uh, bring it home and then install it. So process overall will take you several hours to get the product. On the other side of the fence, there's a software develop development companies, the people who are responsible for creating products. And there's also a publisher in the middle acting as a gatekeeper, deciding if the product that they see from the developers actually worth it to invest in printing the CDs and distributing it to a retail store and then uh, basically bringing it to the market. So the process was complex on the development side, the process was complex on the buying side, and there was the connection was uh, not very good between the buyers and the sellers. Uh, the broadband internet changed it all it become much easier for a software developers to come up with new ideas and the barrier for them to bring new product to the market become much lower. So they just submit their product to the store and the users are able to get it right away. And the process become so much easier for the consumers when this connection appeared between the, the sellers and buyers, the whole bunch of new products were introduced to the market and, and actually even the whole market segment of mobile applications what was created just because of that. So in the telecommunication industry, we're actually halfway through, through this revolution. We made it simple for the network operators to introduce new products because of the network virtualization. So uh, you don't need to care about the hardware design anymore. You don't need to care about the manufacturing. And new virtual functions, uh, virtual network functions, is just, just a piece of software. So the barrier for the company to enter this market from the development standpoint become much lower. Uh, all you really need is to create a piece of software. But the second part, connecting the buyers, is, is not there yet. And the telecommunication companies are, are actually acting as this publisher or the gatekeeper. It's up to them to decide which products they want to take from their lab and start selling it to, to the end users. They're doing this because it costs so much, it's so expensive to take the product from the lab to the market that they really have to be very careful in uh, investing in those products. We should be using the same things, the same tools, the same marketplace concept, the same ecosystem concept as we're using in the software industry, which were created 10 years ago. We should adopt it for the telecommunications and we should connect sellers and buyers by creating this open ecosystem.